Hello Aries, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. Um, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers. I say this every week, um, but you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed. Yes, they can always be flipped. So Aries, definitely apply to your situation only. Take only what resonates, what feels true, or what I'm really confirming that you know. And whatever doesn't make sense or you know is not part of your story, definitely throw it out. You don't deserve it. <laughs> All right, Aries, in saying that, let's get straight into your weekly love reading. Let's see what's happening in your heart space. I want to get some new information for you, new messages now. All right, let's see what's really coming towards you now for the remainder of this month, possibly even February. And we are in the, you know, the Mercury retrograde as well. Don't forget, <laughs> may hear back from someone from the past, for example, maybe someone you disconnected with. So what's happening in your heart space right now, Aries? What's coming towards you that you should know? Let's see what's going on. Also, Aries, if this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended reading, 100% optional. I get a lot of emails of people asking if they're missing out on something, and the answer is no. Um, you're not missing out on anything. So the purpose of the extended Aries, in, I will be focusing 100% only on your person and no one else. I focus on the true thoughts, feelings about you and this connection, Aries. The desires, intentions, agenda, action, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward. So the link to the extended Aries is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath the stars. And if you stick around Aries to the end of this video, you will see a glimpse of your extended. I use around five different decks. Um, and it is quite a lot. There is a lot to get through. They're pretty lengthy, but um, I don't like to rush any readings, even this one. So you'll see that at the end of um, this video. In saying that, Aries, let's get straight into it. Enough talking on my behalf about that. Let's go into it. What's happening with you, Aries? Let's see. For Aries, your heart space. What's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you? All right. Let's see. And what is at the bottom of your deck? What's the energy that is simmering, that is brewing? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so someone's going to be taking some pretty passionate action towards you. They're going to be pretty courageous about this. Now, for some of you, you may be dealing with someone at a distance. The Knight of Wands can indicate some form of travel here as well. That's not going to be for all of you, though. So obviously, you know, if you're in a long distance connection or not here, um, but we're, some, we're getting someone here that's quite passionate about you. Now, you literally could be dealing here with um, a Sagittarius, um, a Leo, or possibly a fellow Aries. It'd be a very fiery, passionate connection here. Absolutely beautiful, though. Um, but I'm kind of getting here someone is being impulsive and courageous to come towards you. Um, this can also portend to someone that's a bit free-spirited here, very open-minded, um, adventurous, loves traveling, you know, all those beautiful things in life. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of getting here that's more passionate action towards you. Finally, someone just does it. They bite the bullet and they take action towards you. Judgment. So, okay. You know this person. You've had history with them. Okay. We have very strong... Um, uh, Libra energy here with that judgment card, as you can see. So this is when someone has a bit of the um, a final decision. They make a just decision and they stick with it. And I feel like that's why they're saying, well, I've made my decision about Aries. I'm going to take action now. Yep. Wow. So the judgment card, what is it really? It's someone that's having a bit of revelation. The light has, you know, someone has flipped the switch in their mind here. They've had a bit of an epiphany saying, you know what, I really don't want to have another year go by without being with lovely um, Sagittarius. Um, this is possibly someone actually also asking for a second chance or saying, you know, can we kind of pick up where we left off? Um, man, maybe I wasn't ready back then. Whatever they're going to say to you, they in, they're going to kind of like dance around it to say, can we pick up where we left off? Can I have a second chance? Yeah, we've got the world here. So that's definitely showing me that you, some of you are definitely at a distance. So whether your person is interstate or literally in another country, <laughs> um, you could be dealing, dealing here with a fellow Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and also a Leo, which you're already picking up here with that Knight of Wands. Um, so I'm really getting here that there was a cycle between both of you that already completed. So you can 
breathe a sigh of relief Aries that the worst is behind you um, but this is starting again a new brand new cycle here with you um, it is known as the card of completion here of accomplishments here um, world travel so definitely a person could be at a distance like I was saying um, but the literal message here is that your person thinks the world of you there's a sense of belonging there's a sense of harmony with you as well wow and we also have justice here very strong Libra energy then again that's also my apology card so you will know Aries if you are kind of you know owed an apology <laughs> um this is also something that's kind of fair here as well it is your person wishing to balance the scales now righting any wrongs that they have done I'm also getting that there was a misjudgment on your person's um, behalf um, they did a poor judgment in the past and now they wish to rectify that start a brand new cycle with you here as well um, your person actually could be divorced as well um, Aries you could also be divorced here as well because I'm really getting here that the worst is behind you and also with your person so if there's any injustice that happened to you any divorce for example um, honestly you survived it and you came out even stronger on top sometimes you don't feel that way Aries but no you're doing pretty good and we've got the beautiful page of cups more apologies coming your way <laughs> um the page of cups is all about messages yeah possibly a person did a poor judgment here of either rejecting you or walking away and now they're coming back oh wow okay that page of cups there is um by, that's pisces by the way um and yeah so page of cups we've got beautiful rantic mess messages here i feel like here yeah, your person has a very very deep crush on you <laughs> um i have to say it started off as a crush but that's the thing it, it's kind of turned more into infatuation into love here your person is actually very creative the page of cups is someone that's very creative um on some level there's definitely children involved here um possibly you know through marriage maybe with a partner here in the past um that's not for all of you here as well though but i just really get that your person's just very how can i say this um i was gonna say rebel but not a rebel they're just very free-spirited um they're willing to try anything though but definitely you've, you've got some apologies you've got explanations coming your way i'm also getting they want to make up for lost time interesting so let's talk about the current situation What's happening around you right now what's going on oh you got my favorite card four of wands and this is your energy aries beautiful aries four of wands i love this so this is all about happy reunions just have to say it though um, i don't really feel so far that there was like a lot of bad blood between you and if it did end i don't really feel like there was arguments or i don't know maybe it was just the wrong time but this is the card of homecoming being together um, it is about celebration it is about harmony marriage family yes there's definitely children involved or probably a desire to have children um, as well like I said it's beautiful um, reunions belonging together gathering stability it is my card of celebration as well I do have to say that so um, I do feel here Aries either you or your person may actually travel to meet you though this does signify sometimes a change of address and a change of job here as well either way your person yeah they're seeing commitment they're seeing marriage with you wow now maybe I'm also getting Aries some of you are a little bit shy of hearing the word marriage especially if you were married in the past and it didn't work out um advice would be not to cut everyone with the same sword but um you're pretty sensible Aries I'm happy to meet you've got a good head on your shoulders if there's one particular star sign that I know that they know what they want and they're sure about it it's you Aries okay very strong so what's crossing you or maybe what do you see could be a potential challenge what do we have page of swords so mm, this is my online card so I'm kind of feeling maybe a lot of these actually met online especially if you are at a distance here um, or maybe just met through something mutual here as well there's something delayed here the page of swords can often show that you got messages coming your way now remember the sword is pointing up there which is open communication coming your way um, about this commitment or recommitting to each other um it's a little bit delayed here the only reason why i'm saying it's delayed um possibly maybe your person i don't know they need to embody that um knight of wands energy just to be courageous and just do it i'm feeling like they in the past they held back a lot though um mm, they're watching you though I'm going to say they're watching you like a hawk they're watching you from afar possibly online so if you are social media friends or if you have a linkedin account if there's old text messages or photos they're watching you this is the messenger so they are coming 
I have to admit, yeah, they're going to say something to you, though. At the moment, it feels like they're probably all talk and no action as well. There could be also gossip. Um, you know, if it's in a kind of a challenge position, it's probably a lot of people talk, or a lot of people will talk about both of you when you finally do get together. It's probably a little bit of fear that you have areas on how people will receive this connection as well. Um, just saying. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I kind of feel that, I mean, I, I like the energy of your person. I don't know what they did in the past, though. We will see that. Let's talk briefly about the past, though. Okay, well, they, okay, well, they did hurt you. There's a Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. All right. There could have been a painful ending here. So whether, you know, you were committed for a good couple of years, a good couple of months, or you just had this really, really big crush on each other, it still broke your heart, though. Um, this was a very painful ending. I feel like it was on your person's behalf. They they did it, not you, Aries, because you always know what you want. Um, but this is kind of when we're feeling a little bit stabbed in the back, betrayed by the person or betrayed by the situation. Um, it is about loss. And for, this could also show um, separation and divorce here as well. Maybe you were married to this person um, or really thinking about it or you saw the potential as well. Um, it, it is about exhaustion here as well. Deep wounds. So the, the wounds run deep with this person. Yeah. Mm. All right. Let's talk about the root of the situation. What's getting roots here? What's probably growing here? What do we have? Well, we have you, Aries. The Emperor. Aries energy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So Aries, a lot of you are in a leadership position, in a position of power here at the moment. If you are a masculine watching this, this is definitely confirming that uh, you probably have children of your own as well, like the father figure wishing to have that. Very strong masculine energy, I have to admit. Um, but what I like here is that, I mean, I always love emperor energy because it is basically all the kings of the tarot wrapped up into one. And I feel like you may be taking action here as well, or um, where there is action towards you, you'll be reciprocating, you know, giving action back, as in replying to this, taking passion and action as well, though. Yeah, um, I don't know, I, whatever you're doing at work as well, Aries, because I feel like, especially for this year, it's actually going to be consuming a lot of your time in a good way, though. Um, this is about leadership here as well. Getting that respect, structure, authority, having that stability and control, being very focused here as well. Some of you may be returning to study here, um, too. Yeah, but I'm also getting a lot of you uh, areas were also distracting yourself, so you don't have to think about this. Um, because you have a soft spot for this person, but if it's not going anywhere, you don't want to waste your time, though. But yeah, again, I'm getting the same message that someone's going to be taking action towards you. So let's talk about the head of the matter or any possibilities. What do we have? Ooh. Whoa, the cards want to come out of my hands. So we've got the star, Aquarius energy. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a sense of destiny here. So as cliche as this sounds and corny as it sounds, Aries, uh, there is a reason why he's met in the past. And there's a reason why this happened. And then again, there's a reason why they'll be asking for a second chance. Let's pick up where we left off. Can we try one more time? I'll take you back on that offer that I may have rejected, for example. Um, so both of you are actually trying to be hopeful, keeping up the faith and also healing from the past. Um, it doesn't matter how long ago or if it was someone else that hurt you, you're still healing. This is great. It's about miracles as well. Keeping up the faith as well, being on purpose here, um, trying to be positive. We have a wish that's going to be fulfilled for you, Aries. Well, really for both of you. So why don't we talk about the near future? Oh, okay. So, so far you're getting my favorite cards. I don't know what's happening here, <laughs> but we have a six of wands. Six of wands is heavily ruled by Leo. So you may be dealing with a Leo here, or maybe there's a Leo on your mind. Could be strong in their chart, for example, but this is about success. Now, literally you, uh, Aries, or your person, maybe both of you are possibly doing something online, being in the spotlight online, doing something with social media, online business as well. We do have another online card there as well. Um, it is about public recognition, success, achievement, having that self-confidence, being victorious here. Um, it's also really about that recognition for all your hard work. Now, what I'm getting to here is that your person literally holds you up here on a very high platform. They hold you in high regard. They want this to be successful, but this is not overnight success. It's because both of you are seeing eye to eye. You're willing to work hard and just meet each other in the middle. I always see a bridge when I say that and you just both meet in the middle and say, let's do it. So this is looking really good in the near future here. Wow. All right. So 
Let's talk about you and only you, how you view this person, this situation. What's going on? Queen of Cups. Well, you do love this person. And I have a feeling here that it started off as a big crush, you know, flirty and all that beautiful messages were expressed. And of course it ended before it could even start, but you're using your intuition here. You're a very compassionate person. You're very patient with this person, very compassionate. Um, I'm, I'm really getting that you come across as someone that's very warm and caring, um, almost very supportive here, very almost like healer like energy here. But you're really also focusing on self-care, filling up your own cup first before you give to anyone else. You've learned some pretty hard lessons in the past, Aries. Um, that's never going to repeat itself again because you've got the world card. So the worst is behind you. We can all breathe a sigh of relief, Aries. Um, but yeah, honestly, this you have a soft spot for this person, though. Yeah. Let's talk about your person, though. Or are there any outside influences? How are they viewing you in this connection? Two of Wands. That's Aries energy. So they are thinking about you. Now, what I like is that, again, this is showing me that your person could be at a distance. If they're not, and you know they're in the same state as you, well, they're just feeling that emotional distance here, but they're making a decision. The Two of Wands is all about making a decision about you, Aries, because everything is always pointing to you. I know I said that last week, um, but they're going to be taking the first steps here. This is The Two of Wands is about making the first steps. And what I love is that your person is doing all new things. The Two of Wands is about new partnerships, um, new jobs, new address, and new love with you. They're choosing the path and they're planning now something because they, they're being courageous here they're going to just take the action and ask for a second chance here Ooh, you know i feel like they've been in the comfort zone for a little bit too long though but they're preparing to leave make no mistake about that aries should i stay should i go yes i'll go i'm gonna go straight towards aries oh wow i like their energy though um i don't like what happened here though but i will be clarifying these cards aries so let's talk about what spirit wants you to know is there any advice they want you to know any actions you, sh you should take or what other actions will your person take what about your hopes and fears let's see what comes up what do we have the four of pentacles that is capricorn energy wow first of all i have a feeling that both of you are not saying it but you're having a hard time letting each other go i have to admit and i don't know if you're talking i'm getting that either a you're not talking or two if you are talking it's just it's definitely not the same it can be a little bit awkward a little bit uncomfortable it's definitely weak <laughs> there could be some insecurities here as well um but this is about planning the fours are all about stability having that firm foundation here planning for the future um so i definitely feel here that there will be an opportunity for both of you. I mean, it's a beautiful card for romance. It is excellent also for business um, as well. You know, we're saving money. We're, we want our security here. We're being a little bit conservative with our money, long-term security. But this is honestly, I have a feeling that your person's planning. They're planning their actions towards you. They're just not saying it. You know, usually the Four of Pentacles shows when both of you now are kind of holding back you're not really revealing your next move your true thoughts and feelings here i have a feeling aries it's because well when all is said and done your person made the decision so why would you reveal any more um your person is going to prompt you to reveal more because they're going to be taking action towards you so let's talk now about the likely outcome the hanged man pisces energy so i have a feeling here <laughs> i always say that i have a feeling is that this is going to be very slow to take off and I am inclined to say it's going to be because of you. Yep. So this is also when we surrender, when we let go as well. All right. So it's a bit of a waiting game as well. Um, contemplation. I feel like you're going to see things from every single angle right there. Your person's thinking about this from every different angle. But I have a feeling you might want to take things slow. Um, only because you don't want to get hurt again. Um, you don't want to repeat any lessons again or mistakes um whether it was this person or even from different relationships um especially if you were married as well and if there are children here as well um so I, i'm just yeah six of swords look at that aquarius energy your person is literally coming towards you especially if they are overseas they actually if they are overseas um aries if this is a long distance connection um this is why there could be a delay in actually meeting as well let's see let's clarify these cards I'm so excited to see what's going to happen in the extended because everything is looking pretty good. <laughs> I have to admit, it's, um, you know, for those that have been, there it is again, 
there's judgment yeah they're going to be asking for a second chance for those that have been on my channel for a while first thank you but um you know that i don't like to lie in my readings or provide false hope because that's just cruel so i like to get straight to the point and i have to admit this is looking pretty good you've had your fair share in the past aries of disappointment of what seems like a failure here so i just split the deck we've got strength card very strong leo energy as well that could be coming towards you oh wow yeah, some of you, you know, you've been burned. I'm seeing that there's possibly in separation, divorce, you know, just... Yeah. Oh, you've been through hell and back, Aries. That's that's not going to happen anymore. No, 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 no. Let's clarify. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. <laughs> I should stop talking too much with my hands. Queen of Swords, beautiful. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um, so what I love, as you can see, the sword is pointing up, the tip's being illuminated. So this person definitely wants communication with you. Mm -hmm. So again, sometimes the Queen of Swords, she can come out a little bit as cold. Maybe you're viewing this person as a little bit inconsistent with her emotions. You know, one day they're hot, cold, hot, cold. So it's really hard to figure this person out. Um, this person could also be separated and divorced here as well. But um, I wouldn't say that this person is actually cold. It's only because past experiences and circumstances have just made them a little bit, have a hard exterior. Um, but they do want to communicate with you. There's something they need to get off their chest. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got the Empress. Now, this is what I love. You've got your power couple of the Major Arcana. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they say that you cannot get committed or married to each other unless you have the Emperor and the Empress. So you just complement each other. You could be dealing with the Taurus here. Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. So your person could actually be self-employed here as well, or thinking of being full-time self-employed. Um, they're really thinking about their finances, their career, their study, whatever they're focusing on here. They really want to level up and match you. That's what they want to do. The Emperor, beautiful Aries energy there. This is actually very strong Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe it's somewhere in their chart. Um, yeah, honestly, they really want to match up here. That's the card of luxury. It is the minor arcana of the Empress. So they're also on the right path. And so are you, Aries. Ace of Wands. They want a brand new start with you. They want a passionate new start with you. And what I love about this particular Ace is that it always portends that it's going to be very successful. But yet in saying that, that Four of Cups, Cancerian Energy, your person will have to do something. They know that. Or else this is going to be a missed opportunity. They know that. They're kind of sad and despondent without you, that they didn't take action or, you know, whatever judgment or decision they made in the past, well, they regret it. Knight of Cups, messages, changes of the romantic nature coming straight towards you. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I just feel like there could be a bit of a waiting until this fully, like, 100% blossoms, in other words. Now, let's clarify that Four of Wands. How beautiful is that? Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Okay, I have to show you this. Both of you are mirroring each other and both of you want the same thing. So clarifying the Four of Wands with the Four of Wands. Wow. If that doesn't say that both of you want each other, I don't know what does. This is my marriage card. For those of you that do believe in twin flame energy, it's right here. So you are mirroring each other. You both want the same thing. You want commitment. You want marriage. You want it have this beautiful reconciliation come together again and say you know what let's try one more time it didn't really take off in the past um but now it can wow let's clarify that page of swords knight of wands again we got it twice now regret here that what's the challenge here especially i'm getting from your person's perspective they didn't take action in the past i have a feeling aries that you had no problem expressing your emotions any flirty behavior um I mean, you weren't, I'm not, I have to say, it's not like you did in a sleazy way, not at all. You're just not afraid to express yourself. And they didn't, they didn't take action, which they're going to now. We got the Knight of Wands twice though. Um, yeah, they didn't take action. You're wondering, are they ever going to take action? And I have no problem moving on now without them. Um, we're not going to wait for them, but they, they're going to take action. Yep. And for some of you may have been worried, maybe there was player-like energies with this person. Maybe they had a wandering eye. You know, they're probably too attractive. You know, they're probably with everyone, for example. I'm just putting the words out there. Um, no, honestly, they have eyes only for you. Yep. 
let's go whoops okay sorry i keep knocking that camera um let's clarify that's ten of swords ten of pentacles virgo energy yeah definitely either there was marriage here already between both of you um or aries you were married in the past possibly before meeting this person and vice versa maybe your person was married here as well so you're a little bit shy now recommitting to um anyone else so we do oh I mean, honestly, this could have been a very beautiful, committed relationship, but it ended before it could even start. And I feel like that's what's hurting you the most is that your person didn't act upon it. They didn't even, it's like they gave up. They just said no or whatever it is that they did, whether they ghosted you, whatever ending or rejection it was, you know what it was. It happened to you and it sucked, but there was so much potential for this. I feel like that's what hurts you a bit. There was so much potential. Let's clarify the emperor. You got it again six of wands twice very strong leo energy oh, you know this can be successful aries if there's anyone more determined and ambitious it's definitely you but um i have to admit it's amazing how you are both mirroring each other but no one is saying it no one's coming forward though um i don't really feel like you should aries honestly maybe you if you want to you can i mean you've got beautiful cards to signify it's a green light but i feel like it's like your person needs to do it it's like they need to redeem themselves. And I do see them asking you for a second chance. This can be very successful, Aries. Absolutely. Not everyone is going to clap for both of you. That is true, but that's on them. Let's clarify that wonderful star. We have Eight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Now, for some of you, you actually may work together. Yeah. Um, even if it's at a distance, you may, you know, study together, maybe your co-workers. Um, that's not a problem though, because we do have the star card. Now, if you don't, for example, let's just say you do not work together, you don't study together. Either way, this message is the same for all of you is that both of you are actually prepared to put in the hard work, to put in the effort, the time, the dedication, the love and the devotion here. This can work. Absolutely. Oh God, these cards just keep getting better, I have to admit. Let's clarify that beautiful Six of Wands is the King of Pentacles. So very strong Virgo and Taurus could possibly also be a Capricorn. So male or female does not matter, but how are they seeing you here in the near future? Okay, I have to see it, is that this person wants to provide you not only with success in this connection here, there we've got that Leo energy there again twice. Um, they do want to offer you stability, commitment now longevity this actually is notorious that this is someone that wants to get married with you you know wife you up or husband you up um whoever you're dealing with here strong commitment i have to admit let's talk about you we've got the queen of cups here nine of cups pisces energy yeah you're definitely gonna have a wish fulfilled here you see the person's raising a glass is celebrating here yeah you'll be able to celebrate your emotions with this person there is a lot of love here a lot of emotions you know, and it's reciprocated at the moment, but I have to admit, you're going to get a wish fulfilled. You've got two wish cards, nine of cups and the star card. This is looking amazing. I don't know why I'm getting that there was a bit of delay in the past as well. No more delay. No, no, no. Let's talk about that two of wands. The sun, again, this is your person. You definitely could be dealing with a Leo. This is very strong Leo energy. I mean, listen, it doesn't have to be. It could be somewhere in their chart, but I have to admit, you make this person really happy. It is a card of blessings as well. Um, literally tra traveling to a hot sunny place, especially if they are at a distance. But um, I mean, look at this. This is also the return of health, confidence, all of that. It's a card of blessings. If there are any challenging cards, which really you don't actually have any, <laughs> I have to admit, um, it softens the effect, but this is pure happiness. I mean, look at the energy that you have for each other. You've got the nine of cups, they've got the sun card. This is beautiful. Beautiful connection. Let's talk about that Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands, more Leo energy. I don't know why you always get a lot of Leo energy in your readings. Um, but this is fighting for what you're believing. This is being assertive, speaking your truth, standing up for yourself, fighting for this connection. Definitely no need to argue with other people. I do feel that other people may be questioning why are you with this person or taking them back. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is fighting for what you believe in. Yep. Yeah. Defending yourself, defending the connection. Maybe both of you will need to. Now, if there are children involved, maybe you have to explain yourself to, um, you know, why you're with someone, for example. Um, probably co-workers, friends, I'll probably say, don't go back to this person, or do you really want to do that, you know? But, yeah, no, this is, 
I have to admit, this is being assertive and speaking your truth. So let's talk about now the um, Hanged Man. Two of Pentacles, Spirit said get one more. We've got the world again. Look at that. No wonder they said get another one. So that's very strong Capricorn energy. So this is kind of weighing up the pros and cons. How do we make this work? That's what it is. And I feel it's a lot of it is coming from you, Aries. Um, I just feel like I know that you're not going to rush into it, though. Yeah. Yeah. How do we do this? No, let's do it. You've got the world again. Again, you've got more Leo energy. We've got Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Definitely showing me you are at a distance. We're just feeling that emotional distance now, missing each other as well. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. I'm really liking this reading. We've got a brand new cycle where there is an ending. There is always a beginning, Aries. This is beautiful. So what I'm going to do now, I want to dive in a lot more deep. I'm actually excited. I can't wait to see what is going to happen at this stage beyond now. Um, this particular reading where we focus 100% only on your person. So I'm going to pause the video. When I unpause it, Aries, you will see a glimpse of your extended. So one second. All right. Uh, welcome back, Aries. As you can see, I have five different decks. Um, and I, I say this every week. I know it seems like a lot to get through. And yes, it is. Um, I just don't like to rush the readings. Though. And I'm super excited, though, about your extended because everything is looking so far amazing. Well done. So just to reiterate, especially for those that are new to my channel, I will be focusing 100% on your person. We're going to dive in a lot more deeper about the true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection, um, the desires, even secrets. We'll see. Um, agenda, actions, outcome, and advice for both of you moving forward. So to start off, Aries, I'll be using the Everyday Witches Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Mystical Cats Tarot. Moving on, I'll be using the yes and no oracle cards. Sometimes we do get timing as well uh, with these cards. And then I'll be using the romance angel oracle cards. Beautiful messages and advice for both of you moving forward. My favorite deck here is the twin flame messages. It's a very simple deck, but basically Aries, if your person wanted to say anything to you, anything at all right now, what would they say to you? If they had no fear of rejection or judgment or being turned away, um, what would they say to you? What is in their hearts? I'll be pulling out several cards here of direct messages just for you, Aries. All right, so I will leave this here. I'll see you on the other side. The a link to the extended is in the description box below. Um, but if this is where we depart, Aries, I wish you the very, very best. Okay, you deserve it. Until next time, Aries, take care. Bye.